Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April 27th of 2022, well, it is titled Moon Shadow on Jupiter. So what do we see here? Well, in an image taken by the Juno spacecraft in late February, which passed very close to the surface of Jupiter in its very elliptical orbit, it was able to get an image of this very dark spot on Jupiter. Now, what is this dark spot? That's actually the shadow of one of Jupiter's larger moons known as Io. Io is uh, one of Jupiter's four Galilean satellites, the ones that were seen by Galileo back in the 1600s when he first looked at Jupiter. And while we talk about eclipses here on Earth, eclipses can occur anywhere where something is appears big enough to block out the sun. So from this shadowed location on Jupiter, if you were in Jupiter's atmosphere at this location, you would see Io passing in front of the sun and blocking out its light. And that's the same kind of thing that we would see here on Earth. If we looked at Earth from space during an eclipse, we would see the shadow of our moon passing over the surface. And if you're in that shadow, that's the location where you would be seeing the eclipse. Now, Juno has been studying Jupiter for quite a while now. It's in a very elliptical orbit, meaning that it zips in very close to Jupiter and takes detailed images and then spend, spends most of its time further away out in the distance. So it has a very long elliptical orbit. It also has a polar orbit, meaning that it goes over the poles instead of around the equator, allowing us to study the polar regions in more detail. And we've learned, of course, a lot more about Jupiter in terms of the storms that develop there. And we see a number of little storms here, uh, circular regions on Jupiter. We also see some of the flowing of material within the atmosphere. Now, when we look at Jupiter, we are seeing just the atmosphere, but we can see the flows and the which appears to be traveling the turbulence within Jupiter's atmosphere as different layers pass by each other. We get some great turbulence right at those boundaries, and we can see that very distinctly in this image. So studies of Jupiter and the weather patterns there can help us in many ways better understand our own weather patterns here on Earth. So that was our picture of the day for April 27th of 2022. It was titled Moon Shadow on Jupiter. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.